Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, let's discuss about launch settings.json file. Okay, uh, that file is uh, inside this properties folder. If you open this file, then uh, by default, you will see this code. This file has two profile. First one is IIS Express. Second one is this is our project name, my first web API with the name of your project. Okay. Um, IIS Express is only available in Windows operating system. If you are running your project in different operating system like Mac or Linux, then you need to use Kestrel web server, which is provided by .NET Core. Let's learn how can we switch the profiles in between the IIS uh, Express and um, Kestrel web server. See here, uh, by default, IIS Express is selected. If you run this application, the settings from this uh, profile will work. See here, we have command name IIS Express, then launch browser true. It means if you run your application, the browser will get open automatically by using this profile. This is a um, default launch URL. We have environment URL. By default, here we have development environment. This is for Kestrel web server, your command name project, um, .NET run message true. You will see all the messages in console window. Then we have launch browser and default launch URL, okay, application URL. If you are if you're running your application using command line interface, this will be the URL. Okay. But if you are running your application using IIS Express, this will be the URL. Here we have default environment variable. Now let's run this application by clicking this IIS Express button. It will take few seconds. See here um, the URL is 44362. Now let's understand the difference between this URL. Go back to Visual Studio. See here application URL is 41876. SSL port is 44362. Now our application is running in 44362. That means if you are working with SSL which is HTTPS then this will work 44362. If you are using HTTP, then this will work 41876. Okay, now let's copy this URL. Here, click new tab, then paste the URL, append swagger. See here, we have a uh, same swagger UI. Now, 44362 and 4186. Both URL is working fine. Okay, now let's stop the execution. Let's switch profile um, in this uh, drop down. Select the project name, my first web API. Okay, so in this scenario, IIS Express will not work. Instead, this Kestrel web server will work. Now, run this application by clicking this button here. See here, the console window is automatically opened. See here, we have the um, URL 5001. This is the exact URL. Now, refresh this uh, 44362 and 41876. This is URL. Uh, this is coming from uh, Win IIS Express. Now it's not working. Uh, now uh, look 5001. This URL is working. Okay. That means uh, if you are working with uh, Visual Studio, you can use any one of the profile. You can't use both the profile in a single time. I hope this uh, video is helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching this video.